Hello everyone, I'm here to present Ultra Power, powering tangible and wearable devices with Focus Ultrasound, which is a project I have worked on with Asier Marzo, Ian Freeman, William Frie, and Orestes Giorgio. The main goal of Ultra Power is to power small devices and electronic components in a robust and precisely wireless manner. Uh, our approach is based on using ultrasound phase array that can create several focal points with high pressure in space and time. And then we transform these focal points into electricity to activate devices that consume low power for delivering vibration, light or making a sound. I will give a quick tour of previous approaches for common techniques using wireless power transfer and the limited use in tangible and wearable. Some researchers have investigated powerless uh, alternatives uh, for creating after tangibles and wearables, for example, using electromagnetic fields. Projects such as power shake use this concept of inductive charging through electromagnetic resonant coils, and they explore the power interaction using uh, mobile devices to trade power. Other researchers have investigated similar technologies such as near-field communication into tangibles. For example, in Sansevier project, the system can track the position and orientation of objects on top of the tabletop mat. However, these approaches have several uh, limitations. So now this system can offer a high level of precision selection, variety, and location. Ultrasound technology can overcome some limitation and it can improve the interaction and the feature of tangibles and wearables. First, I will explain how this technology works and I will give you an overview of the primary applications. So this technology is based on ultrasound transducer and that means that the transducer emits ultrasound wave at 40 kHz, this frequency is too high for you to hear, and every transducer in the array can be individually controlled, creating focal point of high acoustic pressure. This device of, um, has received significant interest in HCR research during the last few years, most of them target mid-air haptic interfaces uh, so the focal point can be feel for the user when it's touched, but two other emerging applications are getting uh, attention, such as acoustic levitation and parametric audio. Now I will explain with more detail the principle of ultra power. Our system relies on a set of simple resources, an array of transducers as emitter, a rectifier that transforms pressure to electricity and a device, multiple devices, that consume this uh, electricity. The ultrasound phase array can generate a sound pressure field with focal points at the desired target position in millimeter. We are using an, an array of 256 transducers um, here I would like to show you the simulation of how we can generate from one up to four focal points with individually adjust pressure. On the top, a single focal point is simulated and on the bottom, two points with equally strong pressure are created and finally, four points with different intensity in pressure. On the other side of the ultra power, concept, we have the receiver. We use a transducer that transforms the pressure into voltage. And also a rectifier is a single uh, full wave rectifier and a capacitor. Basically, the receiver circuit converts pressure into DC voltage. And finally, this voltage or energy is passed to a load circuit. This load circuit is composed by output components that consume the receiver uh, power, such as LEDs, motor, actuator, or buzzers. In the next slide, 
I will describe multiple evaluation that characterize the technical performance of ultra power. We first investigate the relationship between the focal point pressure and the voltage. At 10 cm distant, we measure the voltage output from the focal point and we can observe that we can control the voltage from the focal point. This relationship is, re is linear. The more pressure is created in the focal point, the more voltage we can get. Although we investigate the relationship between the distance and the received power in order to give insights into how much power actually can be received from an ultrasound focal point. We also investigate the power consumption for different load. It is clear that as far there is a focal point, less power can be generated. Also, we can say that there are better loads for getting more power. The real cases come now. Um, we investigate the behavior of three common output compo components, uh, such a buzzer LED or um, micro motor, and the different level of focal point pressure. The first figure shows the result of the buzzer from different pressure level. We observe that the minimum activation pressure is about 900 Pascal. And we also try to modify the frequency. However, as we pick a buzzer that has a regulator, so it will prevent a certain frequency. We also measure the brightness of, of an LED depending on pressure. We can also observe that the brightness of the emit light is proportional to the amplitude of the focal point, while, while the minimum activation pressure was 600 Pascal. And the last experiment was measuring the rotation speed of a motor. We can see that the motor started spinning around 1,800 Pascal and the maximum speed is at 3,000 Pascal. So in this slide, um, we summarize based on previous experiment, the volume of the interaction area of the motor, the buzzer on the LED. Um, if, uh, for example, we can be used to deliver visual feedback over one meter above an, an array providing 600 Pascal. And also the, the buzzer has a smaller interaction volume than the LED, but larger than the motor, which has the smallest interaction volume. So the interaction volume of other components and sensors requiring different minimum operating power that can be calculated in a similar way as we did before. The technical evaluation characterized the performance of the ultra power implementation. Moreover, we showed a variety of output components that can be controlled. We did many prototypes that explore the ultra power into the HCI design space, but in this presentation, I will now show you a few of them. The first one is a turning passive object into active object. So ultra power can be used to add active uh, output capability to passive object, allowing dynamic physical icon without the need for batteries. In this example, we use ultra power to add multimodal output to a 3D printed rabbit. We can target the, the buff buzzer and we can create different sound, as you can uh, hear. And after we can target the LED. We also built a wearable ring that applies vibration feedback on the back of the hand. In the video, the user wears the receiver on her finger and the vibrator motor on the back of the hand. This approach enabled a combination of haptic sensation of, on both uh, sides of the hand without the need of, uh, to wear gloves or more complex devices. Um, also, we developed an uh, interactive tabletop surface that uses ultra power to deliver ultrasound haptic feedback to users and power objects 
on its uh, surface. Also, it has the potential of delivering power through several clothing. This feature can increase the number of gestures by switching off the LED when user flip the back. Um, on the last part of my presentation, I will talk about uh, limitation. One limitation of ultra power is the effective range of operation, which depends on the load circuit. If the device needs high voltage and current, it can only work close to our array. Output components that uh, can only be activated if the target focal point has sufficient energy and currently our system does not include the tracking of position and orientation of the receivers. To sum up, let's finish the presentation with the benefit of our approach. We are able to power multiple small target devices, even through fabric, with a high pressure, um, high precision. And it is easy to create and prototype, prototype novel devices adding ultra power. And also it enables designers to explore new and flexible form factors for wearables, tangible user interfaces, and new interaction techniques. Thank you for your interest and I will be happy to take any questions.